Brooke Rokey is a habitual offender. That's according to Jacksonville's Animal Care and Protective Services. He's an English bulldog breeder from the west side, and the city has written him ticket after ticket for violating the pet lemon ordinance. We spoke with people who bought sick dogs from Rokey, dogs that ended up costing the new owners thousands of dollars in vet bills. In February, we tried to talk with Rokey about all the complaints against his business. Well, can we talk to you about your business practices? I mean, a lot of people have been filing complaints with the state about you. We talked to one person who said you sold her some I talked sick there, bulldog. I talked to you after a while, but I mean, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Rokey didn't answer our questions, but after our report ran, he sent me this email. Hey, buddy, I just wanted to send you a little note. Your piece on me aired, I want to say, Tuesday night. I thought you'd like to know that today, Wednesday, I sold one puppy for $1,600, and I also took a deposit today for a puppy I'll sell tomorrow for $1,800. Keep the stories coming, bud. Business is booming. If you'd like to swing by, I have a couple families coming this weekend as well. Keep in touch. Next time, consider doing a story on obesity or perhaps fund appropriation. You'll notice he didn't deny any of the accusations or facts in our report. Recently, we went to three addresses on the west side where Roki is known to stay. This time, we couldn't find him. According to records from Animal Care and Protective Services, one person called and complained and said that Roki was selling as many as 30 English Bulldogs from this location on the west side. And in the backyard of another home on the west side, you can clearly see stacks and stacks of dog cages. After our original story ran, we got lots of comments from viewers, like Valerie Phillip. She said, finally, someone got him. And Trisha Wimberly said, great to see the segment on Brooke Rokey and warning people. He sold us a sick puppy as well. Donna Phillips recognized Rokey right away. I called up everyone I knew and said, that's Molly's breeder. He's back again. In 2008, Phillips purchased Molly from Rokey for $1,500. It soon became clear that Molly has many problems, including a lame right leg, a curved spine, and brain abnormalities. Philip says they've spent at least $5,000 in vet bills. She's always in pain, but the steroids do help her. What do you um, want to see happen? What do you want to see come up? I want him to stop breeding and not have people have hot breaks because their animals are not healthy. Well, what needs to happen? What needs to happen to get this guy to stop? Cyrus Zumarodian is a prosecutor with the state attorney's office. We showed him our investigation, the emails, the complaints from viewers. From all the stuff you've seen, I mean, is there enough here, do you think, to go at least investigate? I would definitely be interested in seeing more evidence. I would definitely be interested in a further investigation into this person. People who feel cheated by Rokey believe he's in clear violation of the state's pet lemon law, which is a first-degree misdemeanor. We checked with Animal Care and Protective Services and the Department of Agriculture, and neither agency has brought a case to the state attorney's office for prosecution. In the meantime, Zumarodian says his office will take a look at what else can be done. To see if a crime has occurred, to see if criminality is ongoing, um, to see if there's anything that can be done to help the people. No one has brought a case against Roki locally, but a source with the city tells Channel 4 that the U.S. Attorney's Office has opened an investigation into Brooke Roki's business practices. We called the U.S. Attorney's Office, but they were unable to comment for this story. Jason Law, Channel 4, the local station.